Hello everyone. In trick number 8, which I posted concerning the addition and subtraction of rational numbers uh, without taking LCM, I told you that uh, all these examples belong to the category of the denominator not having any common factor. But in fourth example, 3 and 9 had a common factor of 3 in between them. So, the final answer also has a factor of 3 between the numerator and denominator which you can cancel out and arrive at the final result which is minus 26 by 9. So, you can add that little step to the previous video. Now, let us complete this trick number 9 in which we will be dealing with rational numbers having a common factor in the denominators and how they can be dealt with. Let me take a very simple example first, say 1 upon 2 plus 7 upon 8. Now here the denominators 2 and 8, they contain a common factor. So we cancel out this common factor so that we arrive at 1 and 4, 2 ones are 2 and 2 fours are 8. Now, instead of multiplying 1 by 8, we multiply 1 by 4, that gives us 4 and instead of multiplying 7 by 2, we multiply 7 by 1, so that gives us 7 and the denominator is obtained either by multiplying 2 and 4 or by multiplying 8 and 1, the product is the same in both cases that is 8. So, the final answer is 11 upon 8. Please notice here that we have not taken LCM, we have just cancelled out the common factor between 2 and 8 and converted them into lowest form. Let us take one more example, say 11 upon 6 plus 3 upon 8. Again 6 and 8, they have a common factor of 2 between them, 2 3 are 6 and 2 4 are 8. 11 into 4, 44, 3 into 3, 9 and the denominator either 6 into 4, 24 or 8 into 3, 24. So the final answer is 53 upon 24. Now, let us take one more example in which we have three rational numbers having a common factor. Again, I will have a common factor of uh, say 2, say 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6. Now, again I cancel out the common factor. I deal only with the first two rational numbers first. 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 into 2 is 4, other rational number is 1 by 6, again 4 and 6 have a common factor of 2, 2 2 is a 4, 2 3 is a 6, 3 3 is a 9, 2 1 is a 2, 9 plus 2 gives 11 and 4 3 is a 12 or 6 2 is a 12 comes in the denominator, so the answer is 11 upon 12. So you can see that instead of taking LCM in the traditional manner, we can solve these kind of problems just by cancelling out the common factor. Now let us take one problem of subtraction involving a common factor in the denominators. Say we have 4 upon 5 minus 7 upon 10. Now again these two denominators have a common factor of 5 between them. So we cancel out 5, 5 ones are 5. 5 to the 10, 4 to the 8, minus 7 1 the 7 upon either 5 to the 10 or 10 1 the 10. So 10 is in the denominator. So the answer is 1 upon 10. Let us take one more complicated, little bit complicated example. Say we have minus 1 by 3, minus 4 upon 9 plus 2 upon 11 and we have one more factor say minus 
uh, 3 upon, I'll take a larger denominator 22. Now, if there are four numbers involving common factors, we combine those two rational numbers which have a common factor between them. Like 3 and 9, they have a common factor of 3 and 11 and 22, they have a common factor of 11. So, I'll solve these two first. 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9. Minus 1 into 3 is minus 3. Minus 4 upon either this 9 or this 9 plus now I cancel out the common factor 11 between these two denominators 11 ones are 11 twos are 2 twos are 4 minus 3 ones are 3 upon 11 twos are 22 so this is minus 7 by 9 plus 1 by 22 and now we notice that 9 and 22 do not have a common factor between them so we can apply the method as I told to you on in trick number 8 so 22 into 7 it gives 154 plus 9 into 1 gives us 9 and in the denominator we have 22 into 9 which is 198 so the final answer is minus 145 upon 198. So friends, if we practice this little method, small method of converting many rational numbers, addition or subtraction of many rational numbers into a single rational number through this method, I think it is very beneficial for us in competitive exams and uh, we can save a lot of time also. But do not practice this in classroom, in school because in schools only traditional methods are taught and you need to apply those methods in school. Keep learning, keep enjoying, share and subscribe the videos if you like them.